evening. This year at 78 Orchestra, we have played a lot of chorales. Chorales are beneficial in many ways. Most importantly, they help us practice our listening skills by engaging our ears with the ensemble sound, especially in terms of imitation and tone. The overture to the Lord of the Rings suite that you just heard is a chorale that we've been working on and allows us to focus on these things right at the beginning of our portion of tonight's concert. We hope that you have witnessed the level of accuracy, musicality, and emotion that we've been able to bring to this chorale as it sets us up to play well for the rest of our set. Our next piece will be 70 Orchestra Student Choice Selection. 70 Orchestra typically takes a vote on their student choice selections from a list of student suggestions. Out of those selections chosen to be on the ballot this year, there was a movement throughout the 7th graders in the orchestra to play Let It Go from Frozen. It won after a very close vote, even though it was been popular with everyone and seemed like a joke. Many children consider Let It Go their favorite song. It has won six awards and was nominated for nine in total. The song Let It Go is performed in its original show tune version by Adina Menzel in her role as Queen Elsa, the Snow Queen, one of the main characters of Frozen. She's singing about how she is finally able to use her magical powers freely and let them go without restriction. The song was written by husband and wife songwriting team Christian Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. This was a late addition to our concert, so we hope you enjoy Let It Go From Frozen. We would like to welcome Mr. Seville and Jumsa and Miss Darby on piano for the remainder of our pieces and thank them for being here and playing with our groups tonight. We especially want to thank them for coming because this is the week after SpongeBob the Musical.
At our winter concert, we have briefly mentioned that 7A Orchestra completed sponsorship letters as a fundraiser. Last June, we were each tasked with writing 10 sponsorship letters over the summer to those that we felt would support us in our activity financially. Out of those of the students that completed this project, the response from those of you that donated was overwhelming. You can find a list of our donators inside of our e-program as well as on the TV website. However, at this time, we would like all our donors to stand and be recognized as we thank them for their generosity and support. 7A Orchestra, which will soon just be called Panda Orchestra, will engage in this process every two years so that each student has an opportunity to raise money and every group of Panda Orchestra students will have sufficient funds for their group. We started, we started this school year with little to no funds and we have already seen the extra special things that we been able to get because of our donors. So again, we are very appreciative of you. This is a song that is recognizable to most. Viva la Vida means long live law, life. However, you may be unaware of the origin of the song's name. The name was taken from a painting of Frida Kahlo, a famous 20th century Mexican artist. Kahlo lived a life full of pain and suffering, including enduring polio and a broken spine. She was basically in chronic pain for a decade. She started painting as a way of easing her pain. One of her most famous paintings was named Viva La Vida. The lead singer of Coldplay, Chris Martin, stated that he fell in love with the boldness of Kahlo, her painting, and the story behind it. The song was released on May 25, 2008. We hope you enjoy Viva La Vida. Thank you for coming. Please make sure that you stay far from now at the end of the concert. Trust me, you will not want to miss it. <laughs> 